get a good look at it guys you see what I'm looking at there's my wiring uh, Mimo Yegis we are about to do some serious business we're gonna do a swap out compare them to the log periodics I will do a quick speed test before we begin I will show you a very quick unboxing and we're gonna rock and roll stay tuned Okay guys, it is January 30th, 2020, 9.26 a.m. Let's do a speed test. This is with the wiring MIMO antennas. 50 ping. Normally I'm getting around about 20 to 25, so that's pretty decent. <clears throat> and upload. Better than usual. Freakishly better. It's usually at like one and a half to two. All right. So you know now, this is the comparison. Let's do a quick unboxing and rock and roll with these freaking antennas. All right. Here's the log periodics, guys. It came from Niagara Falls, New York. It's a very small box. I'd say it's only about a foot, foot and a half long. Okay. So these are supposed to be really long, I believe, to save you guys some time. boxes for two antennas here we go boom okay you got your brackets you got your wing nuts Ooh, even easier okay sweet all right so I'm basically just gonna connect these two together to make it super long stay tuned Break. there you have it ladies and gentlemen they are connected you just got to take off these wing nuts and then connect them and then put them back on um, I put one on each side, hand tight, because you will, they will run into each other. So check it out. We've got these weird FME male connectors. Uh, those aren't standard <laughs> um, for the cables that come with the MoFi or, or whatever. So, not the cables that come with the MoFi. I take that back. They are, so I bought these like adapters, okay? They're like, I don't know, six or seven bucks on Amazon. This is an FME male. It's gonna plug into there. I already got one on, okay? And it goes to the end female, which is the standard for those uh, coaxial that you need to run to the MoFi. All right, so make sure you get yourself one of these bad boys, okay? Gonna be going to the roof next. Yes. Call me crazy, call me psycho. But I'm taking those down. And I'm putting those shits up. Let's rock. Voila. All right, two log periodics up there. I don't know, I read something, I thought I said three foot spacing between the top and the bottom one. I don't know, bring it, we'll see what happens. Uh, I got it kind of pointing in the same street, general direction I had. Um, I obviously get reception here though. The reception there, you saw from my video. Uh, so we're just gonna turn it back on, turn the mobile on, do a speed test, see what the hell happens. Stay freaking tuned. Okay, here we are guys, 192, 168, 10.1. Get in there. All right, I already checked it on my phone. It is slightly better. Um, that's without even aiming yet and dialing it in. So, check signal strength, okay? We're already at negative 112 for signal strength. So the signal strength went up, signal, and look at that, negative 111, I haven't seen that since the summertime. So, um, we're still bouncing around pretty good. The signal quality is meh. Um, upon doing a speed test, I was getting around about the same speed because the, uh, if you look at the quality, it is not too par to my liking per se. But let's see here. So we'll do a speed test. Sitting at 111 and 9.9. .9.
I'm also going to try a band scanner too to see if anything else pops up with these antennas just for shits and giggles. So once again, meh. All right, let's go tweak it. This is interesting, guys. I got band phi. That's a band I've never seen before with a really good strength. Interesting. I am going to mess with that band five next. Um, stay tuned. All right, after tactfully placing these antennas and orientating them a thousand different ways, it's really windy out, so could be a fluke. But you see, I probably got them about a foot apart, slightly splayed, one tower to the next, I think. Um, I just got to button it up and weatherproof those connectors, but uh, yeah, let's go inside and uh, do a speed test, shall we? Okay, guys, so I'm getting about mm, the same as I was getting before. It's bouncing around pretty damn good. Um, but however, I did get it dialed in to where this was getting down to 8.1, which means it's probably close to being on a tower but then again it could be the wind deceiving me um so let me get a speed test going here we'll see what we're looking like i was getting close to 27 to 31 so Hmm. It's so hard to do this on windy days, guys, because you can't tell your true accuracy on your decibels because trees are swaying. But upload improved. That's the lowest I saw the download. Here we go again. We're at negative 112. That's pretty damn good. And there's your fluctuation right there. You see? Um, so that's going to kind of bounce around a little bit. Um, it's going back up. I'd rather always go up than down. Um, going down just shows that the signal's really degraded. Um, but, uh, I mean, you can see right there, the signal quality sucks. But still, um, I want to tell you my honest to God assessment on these guys. Uh, the log periodics, very similar to the wiring um, antennas, have slightly better signal strengths for sure. Um, if you need better signal strength, you want these. Um, signal quality is, it's still probably about the same. It might be a smidge better because like I said, I'm seeing speeds that I don't normally see during the freaking day. That's like something I might see at like one o'clock in the morning. So actually that to me is an improvement. That means probably if I tested this sucker at two in the morning, I'd probably get like 40 megs um, down. So, you know, uh, it is, well, see, that's freaking low. That is the lowest. I've never seen it at 109. And then look at that jump. So while it jumped, let's see where it's at. Because um, at the end of the day, uh, quality over your buck is what we're, you know, as the American people um, are looking for. Um, we want shit to work. Um, so uh, me, you know, for 13 miles away from a tower, 12 miles, whatever the hell it is, uh, on a windy day, I expect to lose some, some uh, quality. But even then, that's still functional. And that's a fluke. Um, but, you know, it works. So I guess I'm going to just kind of go with it for a couple weeks and just uh, see how it looks. I might have to go back up there and tweak it again because, you know me, I love getting on the roof. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I hope this helps from my side-by-side uh, -side comparison between the wiring uh, MIMO antennas. That'll cost you 400 bucks on Amazon. Or you can get a couple log periodics. Do the same thing that might be a little more unsightly and um you know but hey i honestly think that this is outperforming the wirings um you know so that's pretty good so i mean i can't complain um well the true test will be like as if we're noticing our lost internet or anything like that um the upload's going back up now so you know, it's, uh, it is what it is, guys. If you don't have trees, more power to you, okay? But uh, I just want to say, rock on, log periodics. Get a thumbs up in my book. Ding.